This is Dr. Justine Agnes Chevalier. This is the second part of nutrition series. In prior video, I have been interrupted by wind. There is, like I said, possibility to understand for all. Those that minds are based in science, in instincts, as well as in religion. That whatever is in pain cannot endure that pain. And therefore, that pain sent as an ecosystem's uh, message actually starts to wipe out whatever is responsible directly for causing those injuries first and whatever is dearest to those persons. And that is how we end up weak, disabled, or like in Orwell's, um, impersonating animals, uh, which is called reincarnation, ingested, attacking other humans in hatred of unknown, uh, unknown origins that is also expressed in Halloween. To change that, we need to start from having an idea that it is in uh, an utmost interest of all of us to adopt a non-killing lifestyle and part of it is nutrition. There are various ways to approach it. One of them is scientific one. I will try to first appeal to those persons who are in an environment that is planned and controlled and explain to you how to calculate it, what to eat to obtain what the body needs without having anything that is suffering or being killed exchanged for in diet money or for amount of plants in pounds or in kilograms or fluid or cigarettes because that happens too that is an illusion that does not happen we do, we do that but there is no cause of effect cause or effect. It means that if I pay for a kilogram of or a pound of a given fruit, it does not equal to a, a life and then killed chicken and in no ways it equals actually, to, even though the money is the same, to a, um, a pound of meat. Because if uh, that meat uh, is temporary, and not an excuse and consumed while all of other possibilities to grow something else are exhausted that meat is not harmful however if that meat is being treated as if life was not taken away from another species then that causes what I've described, uh, not only that Orwellian instinct to kill aggression, famous in Buddhism, introduced to many hospitals in China and other uh, countries, but also it causes actually a uh, disease, chronicity. And so because those ki chickens, for instance, are on plant being killed and killed or fish killed and killed, uh, with another one at some point a person falls and dies. Or, and, it, and it can be in random ways and it can be also in, uh, based on quotas. Depending on those quotas, uh, we are also calculated uh, on that in medicine and persons and carve often diseases. So to prevent that, uh, please increase awareness that suffering is in message that death is coming. And that, is, that means do something to prevent it if you suffer. And not per se disease. Yes, we have to remediate suffering by cures, selves too. Not by killing or taking something to not to feel pain. I mean, yes, we do not want to feel pain. We do something about it. But we do not cure disease by remediation of pain. And so that is why diet is important for each and every one of us. I will start now with the scientific approach. To be able to know how much food one needs, one needs to know certain formulas and also know how many calories per gram of what to know to calculate a daily plan. I invite you to make it for yourself. I right now, because I still am uh, not in possession of my identity card, American one, impeded from renting places or um, apparently also discriminated in labor um, work post divorce and that is ignored and by omission creates uh, endangers my life 
and I am also at risk of being silenced by uh, imposition that what I'm saying is untrue, uh, framing into any sort of immoral or bad behavior as well as in uh, diseases so that my testimonies are not uh, warranted uh, or um, credible. Many persons are similar situations. That is, uh, regardless of what I do, so I may as well finish my lectures. Uh, one has to be well then. So the formula is to start with a, um, in a need to have an amount of calories on gram of food of a given type. Food is divided into carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, those three. Carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, uh, they add up to what we ingest every day. Carbohydrates, also known as sugars, are divided into simple and complex. And simple sugars are the ones that are very sweet, while complex ones are the ones that have starch in it, like a potato, for instance, or bread. And then we have, uh, based on that note, we have um, a, um, the amount of energy obtained per minute versus one that is l distributed over time long term from each of these two types of sugars. Uh, sugars that are simple, like saccharose and fructose and other sugars of this type, have capacity to fuel brain and muscles, replenish also glycogen storages, which are storages uh, like reservoirs of energy for muscles, very quickly. Sugar is the sole energy for the brain versus a um, fat for the first three days of starvation or fast. Fast that starts after three days, if we limit food, uh, food ingestion only to lipids, actually is then a changed to breakage of fats. And fats then constitute fuel for the brain. Brain does not eat proteins, or so the book says, and that is why, well, proteins have to be converted to first sugar, which is possible in uh, metabolic cycles, and then taken by, by brain, so it takes more time. So for example, if a given food contains proteins versus contains sugar versus contains fat. If you have been hungry for a long time, for about more than three, four days, you've been depleted of, based on so-called expenditure, so effort you are making. So you feel, okay, the appetite is suppressed when you still work. For example, in extinguishing fires or in performing jobs or walking or doing whatever it is that you do. Remember, intellectual work also is effort. And you feel that you still are hungry. Even though society arrives, that means you should be normally, I'm not saying that it's in mandatory, but in your body, if you concentrate, you should be in, uh, noticing that you crave fat. If you crave fat now, the uh, best source, most caloric fat in uh, plant-derived food are nuts. So have then nuts that are minced and uh, that are served like this, for instance, that's um, hummus. Hamas has a lot of protein, but it has also fat, like tahini and other, um, also, um, I, I believe, uh, beans. Tahini is um, ground sesame. And so all of that, uh, beans also have quite a bit of fat. It does not seem that way, but a lot of seeds do. Also avocado, a coconut, which is large seed, as well as whatever it is that you find in this, uh, all um, a... Um, in, in supermarket as oil, olive oil and all those contain fats. Uh, chips also contain fats. So when you are, your brain takes fat, you will be faster, lose it and recover without gaining too much um, fat around that waist if you consume fat. Add then to it sugars and those sugars will be quickly converted in fat if you are to endure another effort or will be uh, immediately uh, digested because your body will send a message okay you've eaten 
therefore you're gonna get more so how many calories which means what how much energy from a given f um, ingredient does a person get for one gram of fat we get nine calories and that means for uh, when we when we look at the um, label we need to see how many grams till we are full and then see how fast when depleted we will feel weaker or hungry so there are various stages at first when we did is some significant effort that takes replenishing so those glycogen storages in muscles need to have food the uh, liver needs to have back the deposits of um, yeah, nutrients that uh, it disposes then also to the body also all the nutrients in blood and in all of the metabolic um, uh, um, cycles they need to come back the uh, fat that is deposited in tissues needs to come back a normal amount and so that is why when we sit down we eat however the second um, thing that we need to remember about is ma broken muscle if muscle is broken we need to think about proteins proteins in vegan and plant-based diet the best one are beans split peas and all of the tofus a um, temper and other uh, plant-derived um, uh, proteins that are plentiful and can be consumed in large quantities and are not expensive and grow around. Also, it's possible to obtain proteins from uh, oats and uh, pr produce them also from milk. Other examples include, uh, let me see, uh, all of possible actually seeds, not only um, the tofu seed, and all of uh, foods uh, contain proteins but in less quantities that is the idea how many grams uh, how many calories five grams remember if very tired you will uh, uh, take first if you did not fast or work very hard to lose weight for instance or work very hard or do whatever it is that it takes uh, to lose weight to take that only fat um, in, um, that um, the body is actually uh, using only fat after lipolysis in, 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 uh, is uh, sets in and the gluconeogenesis is a principal tension of uh, uh, fuel for a uh, brain and um, ketone bodies that after some time if you have been uh, back to normal sugar or gl glucose use the brain will use sugar and so to then to uh, revert or uh, uh, not be hungry go first with simple sugars and to withstand hunger you have to go with complex sugars complex carbohydrates what are those those are the same beans but those are also potatoes all of those breads as well as um, hummus as well as some but also uh, let me see what does uh, all of fruits and, uh, uh, well most vegetables and all of fruits that have a um, starch in it as well as rice and also what else do we often eat um, uh, beans uh, that is also a good source of um, complex carbohydrates these are uh, tomato also uh, well pumpkins all of these are good source of, uh, versus for instance uh, orange juice orange juice is uh, short a uh, um, fructose a uh, short sugar which goes straight to the brain so if not depleted that is the first way to go well of course if you do not have choice uh, do not uh, think about it go with the craving right craving is wherever is what and we eat whatever there is but if you have some choice remember starved a uh, brain uses fat already three days without food or very little food go first with fat that should be the craving a uh, fat plant-based as i mentioned first fats are the fats derived from seeds uh, or coconut etc and um, hummus and uh, i uh, well other fats that are around that are you know olive oils and uh, hemp and all that uh, then. then go with sugars and usually you'll, you'll be craving a long chain uh, f uh, carbohydrates or sugars and then short chain as a dessert and you should be then okay 
five uh, uh, calories per one gram of protein, five per one carbohydrate or sugar, and uh, nine per fat, one gram per fat. And remember, the formula now to calculate how much you need depends on how much you burn. But that can be based on instinct. Society, so how much you do not need anymore, satisfaction, extension of stomach, versus how much energy you have and how much appetite you still have left.